A royal reunion could be on the cards as Prince Harry is reportedly planning to make peace with his brother William. Well, the brothers haven't been seen together in nearly a year. But the announcement of King Charles and Princess Catherine's cancer diagnoses could bring the pair back together. So they say, well, Kinsey Schofield is in Los Angeles for us. Kinsey, I've heard this a lot. I've heard this so many times. But is this right? Maybe there is some truth in this because actually... When uh, you're confronted as a family with illness and, and two members of your family with an illness, maybe that sort of focused the minds. Yeah, I think it's absolutely a possibility. And I don't want to be unprofessional right now, but I do think we all need to acknowledge how beautiful Nicola's hair looks. Like the hair gods <laughs> have touched, like personally Fine. touched her today. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> you look so good. Thank you. Um, but no, I, I, I think that you're making a really great point. This is a very, um, you know, this is a very traumatizing time for the family. And I think that Prince Harry must feel a lot of guilt being so far away and feeling so disconnected. Uh, now, this is Richard Fitzwilliams talking to the son saying, you know, the, the Sussexes do like to surprise the family. They don't really tell people what their plans are ahead of time. So maybe Prince Harry is planning something when he comes out uh, May 8th to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games. However, Prince William is going to need a heads up. Uh, Prince William, security wise and with everything that's going on, uh, he would certainly know that Prince Prince Harry wanted to have some sort of conversation, but no time like the present to reconnect and, and to heal some wounds. And what do we know about his visit to the UK? We know it's the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games, but how is that going to be celebrated? Well, it's going to be celebrated at a service at St. Paul's Cathedral. And actually, Nicola, we're not really supposed to have this information. And according to some sources close to the Sussexes, they're unhappy that we have it because of Prince Harry's issue with security. They would rather the public know a little bit later in the game so that Prince Harry can get the approval for the type of security he'd like or, you know, so they can at least make those arrangements so that he feels safe and prepared. We don't know when he's going to land and when he's going to leave and what his full schedule is but we do anticipate to see him at the anniversary service for the Invictus Games 10 years at St Paul's Cathedral on May 8th. Amazing stuff so just so just in terms of that dynamic with Harry and William and the King for example I mean we know the King is very fond of his son he is his son he's also a councillor of state and I do wonder whether it's actually the, the difficult bit will be the patch up with William rather than the patch up with the King. I agree. I think that, um, you know, Prince William is so protective of him and his family right now. He just experienced the horrific Kate Gate, all of that chaos um, that uh, inevitably led to a woman having to go on international television and, and give us her latest uh, doctor's update, which is ridiculous. So I do think that Prince William is going to be much more protective of you know, this, the, their privacy at this point in time. And when Prince Harry did come out, he flew out immediately to see the king when we found out the king had cancer. Uh, pr he did go on TV later on ABC News and, and talk about it a little bit. So Prince William might be more hesitant than the king to have that one-on-one -on -one time with him. And do you think we'd know if they all met up, Kinsey, or do you think that there might even be behind closed doors meetings to, to kind of keep away from the eye of the press? I think that that would be the ultimate test, you know, okay, we're going to see you. And if any of this gets out, then we know that we, that this, we can't ever do this again, yeah. or we know that things are headed in the right direction. I think that that would be a great test and it would be in everyone's benefit to keep it a secret. And, and just very quickly, because time is running out, but how much of this is about Harry feeling torn, do you think, wanting to come back to the UK, his wife not wanting to be here? I mean, I think that he, I think a lot of it is feeling guilt about the, his family going through something very heavy and him not being there for them. Um, but he also really wants to have a presence in the UK and he wants to continue to celebrate the Invictus Games where it began. There we go. Very interesting. Well, we'll have to see what happens on May the 8th. Well, thank you so much, Kinsey, for joining us this morning. Your hair looks fabulous too. <laughs>